alrighty, so uh, we are day four on the island and we are heading for, uh, where are we heading for today? We are heading for Strawn. Look at that, what a magic day to be out for a ride. That is brilliant. The car in between here would be, you know. Uh, so yeah, that's looking back up the coast towards uh, Wynyard Way. Uh, so we're going to go up the coast just to try and a little bit, only a couple of K. And then turn inland, and up over the top we go. Oh, this is dead wildlife on the road in this place. Tragedy. Alright, we'll uh, get going and drop back in as we see things of interest. Oratar is the first stop with its uh, waterfall in town, which uh, I don't think most of the guys know about, but uh, one or two do, which would be good. So, uh, yeah. Nice morning ride. It's a little chilly, 15 degrees. It was uh, was eight overnight, but it's warming up now with that sunshine, which is just absolutely magic. All right, well, uh, goodbye, Bernie. It's been very nice. Been an absolute pleasure staying in Bernie. Uh, yeah, don't know about the place we stayed at. It's okay, pretty cheap though, but that's the most important thing. But yeah. Bernie itself, yeah, we had a good time. Uh, for John, uh, John Bigger, uh, this is for you, mate. A uh, little place with the lake. It's called Ridgely, R-I-D-G-L-E-Y, in Tasmania. It's just north, sorry, just south of Bernie. <coughs> and um, yeah, there's that lake you're talking about, just down there on the left. It's probably hard to see. But on the other side of the railway line. Uh, so, yeah, Ridgely is the one with the little lake that you said was a nice lake in, in the middle of town. <coughs> I had to take a little uh, detour because uh, GPS was wanting to take me down Hellier Road again. As much as Hellier Road was very nice, uh, I didn't want to do it twice. I'd like to do it twice, but I don't think the guys want to with their uh, uh, with their trailers on the back. So yeah, smarter move to get over on this road. That's the lake. You got a good view of it here, John. That's that lake there, mate. For you, very good. So as we uh, head out into the, uh, the wild here in the wild west of Tasmania, you can see some of these uh, massive structures of uh, extinct volcanoes, that's how it's all formed. Some beautiful forests around them, it's, uh, it's just such a contrast of things to see. It's got cooler, we started at 15, we're now down at 13, so we've gone up a little bit, um, a little bit chilly. Um, I put the summer gloves on today, thinking, oh, it'll get to about 18, that should be fine. Um, these will get the punt if I can warm my hands up uh, when I get to, uh, uh, get to Waratah, because they are dead set cold. Cool, but that'll warm up. I think. Just cruising along at about 90 instead of 100 here because uh, the group's got to get it all load up the trailers. Uh, I've got uh, Wendy and Rob with their uh, with their camper, which uh, yeah do, probably won't do 100 on these roads, but if we do 90, they'll at least be able to. Uh, Follow where we're going. Which is the most important thing. Some more of those trees that are uh, gum forests or eucalypt forests on the left there, rather than the pine forest, the eucalypt. Because they grow them all straight together, all right together, they grow really straight, just grow good timber. 
compared that to the ones on the right here, which are you know, that is crude normal, uh, they're all over the place. So, uh, yeah, very, uh, very different. We're just coming into uh, Waratah uh, and uh, Waratah is uh, quite famous for the fact that it actually has a waterfall right in the middle of town. Uh, so yeah, we're going to check out the uh, waterfall in the middle of town here at Waratah, grab coffee. I'm going to put on some warmer gloves and some uh, warmer boots probably a pair of woolly socks on that left foot which I normally just have a, a compression sock because I am dead set freezing it's 12 degrees but it just feels colder than that <laughs> it feels like it should be snowing it is bloody cold anyway let's see if we can find this uh, this bloody waterfall So, got off the bike, and right there, waterfall, middle of town, I give you the waterfall. Beautiful town with uh, you know, great scenery and things like that, but it was uh, very much a, a step back to the 1960s and 70s, um, including old mate's FJ that I saw when I went down the toilet. It was a uh, 1956 FJ that was still in original condition, except for the boot spring set, which every time he puts one on, it breaks. It was a beautiful old car. I'll hopefully stick a picture of that one up. But uh, yeah, as for a town itself, it was very interesting because the only place you could get anything to eat or um, or a coffee was at the survey. Uh, there was no toilet at the survey. You had to go 150 metres down the road to the to the one down there near next to the sort of like the town hall. And the lady in the uh, service station was about as friendly as a pit bull that was hadn't been fed for a month. Yeah, one of the ladies called her Mrs. Happy. Uh, but apart from that, it was a lovely little town. Um, the cafe, which was open, is 
now closed, being the Wombat Cafe, which is a bit of a pity because someone had told me it was very good. So, uh, yeah, it, would, uh, it had died a painful death. I think the Wombat Cafe was just too far out of the road, which is why people never went to it. But, uh, yeah, so we're on our way now down to um, Reese Dam, um, sort of in that back of cradle area that we're in at the moment. Um, so, uh, heading heading towards uh, Queenstown Way, but then we'll turn right to head to, to Reese Dam. So, uh, there's a bit of uh, bit of rain activity possibly coming. Uh, it's freezing cold. It says 12 on the gauge there, but I reckon it's probably closer to about seven and a half. Feels like about three, which is what the, uh, the weather app said on my phone. It's uh, it's pretty chilly. There's a bit of a wind chill factor there as well. But uh, no, we're off and racing. Um, a bit of later finish to the day than what we wanted, but that's okay. Um, Greg and I have had a bit of fun. We've uh, left our picnic lunch on the table at the uh, last accommodation place, so we will be eating um, crackers and uh, maybe an apple or a banana if we, uh, if we can find those in amongst what we've got. So uh, we ripped up a beautiful salad and uh, yeah, we left it on the on the table in our, in our haste, but uh, we get that. But anyway, on to Reese Dam. Hopefully the uh, the weather stays fine for us. Road is beautiful bit of road between the uh, Cradle Mountain turn off and the turn off to uh, to Reese Dam and Tuller and those sort of places. Beautiful, it's been downhill and just windy and really scenic. Uh, we seem to have dropped the rest of the crew because they're a ways, ways back. Uh, been traveling pretty slow actually. Beautiful big mountain up there. With, uh, steam come off it. Same with this one just here in front. So we're uh, close to the uh, turn off. So I'm going to slow right back and see if I can group the group by um, basically bunching it up, including the caravan that like none of them get past. So yeah, it's getting there. We're slowly going downhill, which is quite unusual, we're just about underground we've gone that far down. Reese Dam and Corinna, that's us. God, this place is beautiful. Just unbelievably beautiful. Got a bit of uh, up in the air there for a while, but um, yeah, Wendy, <laughs> Wendy and Rob went uh, screaming past. They weren't looking for Keith or the sign. Um, Keith didn't like the idea of me sitting out in the middle there, but I was keying them up. So I got 55k to the dam, so um, I trundled off slow and hope that uh, Wendy and Rob can come back. What happens? Should I get this river down there? Have a look at that. That is just beautiful down there. Mm -hmm. Oh, the dirt bike. Magic. little road that just don't see on the tourist bureau's but, uh, brochures but they're just fantastic bits of road nice and curvy you could really do it with fang but just incredibly scenic I think I got the red button on this time Rock. Just 
mountains around everywhere. It's just awesome. Uh, Reese Dam. So I've got two parts to the wall. Uh, I've got this bit here, which is not too bad. And then we've got another part, which is the uh, long part over the far side there, which we ride across. So we'll park up on a part of it here and then make our way across it. sea going across here and uh, we're going to make a move across the bridge so uh, which is good I've got that one going there beside me man look at that down there I don't know if you can see that
That one. Yes. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Oh, it's got it every got everything on that corner. That's a coffee shop there and a toilet on the other corner. Uh, it's all there. Oh, look at the old steam drains here. Um, yeah, the heritage center's worth looking at it. We've got an hour. Yeah. yeah hour, and, you know, hour and a bit, because that'll get us in there at about 3.30.